Hello, my name is Victoria Kubiak and I'm one of the nutritional therapists at Penny Brown UK and I'm also a cookery demonstrator. So here I am in the cookery demonstration room with the pleasure to be able to provide you with easy ideas for colourful and nutritious dips. I have in my mind traffic lights, so we're going to do a green one, an orange one and a red one in order to entice your taste buds. So let's put a green dip together. I'm taking the opportunity to use these flagelé beans. Uh, lovely texture, particularly for putting dips together. And this is giving us minerals, fiber, and protein. And as you can see, I'm just gonna blitz it all up. So I've got those beans in. I'm probably using half a tin here. And then pouring in some olive oil. And just a little bit there, because we might need to top it up a little bit later on. I'm going to use lime juice, but you could use lemon if you wish. I'm just using lime today. But actually, I happen to have some lemon rind. Uh, so I'm going to pop that in as well. So it's going to be a little bit of lemon and lime orientated. Let's dress it up. First of all, always think about your pepper. Black pepper has a compound in it called piperine. And that helps with the uptake of a lot of nutrients in the dish that you're putting together. I think it needs an element of saltiness, so I'm just going to dash a little bit of tamari soy sauce into it. Tamari is a fermented food, so that actually helps as a guide for your good bacteria. Uh, a little bit of savoury taste, so a bit of B vitamins going in there if you like, uh, as far as yeast extract. So a bit gloopy on the spoon, so we just move that off. It's probably going to be about half a teaspoon that we wish to put in. Of course, all these things go according to your own taste. I'm a great believer in pungency because that really helps with the digestive system. So very quickly, I'm just going to pop in a good teaspoon there of whole grain mustard. And a little bit extra for luck. Always try to embrace your herbs and spices. Use them on a regular basis because they have so much to offer us. Not just nutrition, but as far as the way, the smell, and all that that goes behind herbs and spices. So I've got a little bit of cumin, and probably a teaspoon of that would be good. Lovely smell. And I'm a great believer in nutmeg. It's so antimicrobial, so a little bit of nutmeg every day wouldn't go amiss. And then very simply, it's just a matter of blending it all up together. And I've got a little machine in here, so excuse a little bit of that. Blitz. And of course, with this sort of dip, it's all a matter of about texture. Do you want it to be a smooth dip? Do you want it to be a slightly munchy dip? That's up to you. So I'm just putting this together. I'm going to spoon it into this little pot. I quite like mine with a little bit of texture to it. So there we go. Pop that in. And I've chosen with this dip to serve it up with some lovely oat cakes. And just because it needs a little bit of color on the top and an opportunity to put on some uh, different vegetables. There we go. Finished flagellate bean dip topped with some tomatoes served with oat cakes. I hope you enjoy.